the Microsoft HoloLens development kit was released March 30, 2016. It has been out for an entire year. This year, Microsoft's annual developer conference called Build 2017 is featuring the first ever Windows Developer Awards given to Windows developers who have accomplished outstanding work over the past year. The award that I'm most interested in is the Reality Mixer of the Year. It is the app demonstrating a unique mixed reality experience. This award celebrates those who choose to mix their own view of the world by lending digital and real-world content in creative ways. The award is given to the mixed reality app that has received the most votes by tomorrow, May 27, 1150 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So take a look and vote for your favorite HoloLens app. The voting link will be in the description. The nominees for the Reality Mixer of 2017 are Virto Studio VR Mirrorlize My Lab Hollow Terrain Mike Farrell created Virtual Studio VR. Virtual Studio VR is a holographic 3D modeling studio that allows you to create 3D scenes with imported or created holograms. You can import scenes from Virtual Studio Cloud or Google Drive. You can download sample scenes with things like a ping pong paddle or a guitar. Once you open or create a scene, you can create basic objects into the scene like planes, sketches, cubes, spheres, cylinders, terrains, toruses, and text. Virtual Studio VR contains 3D editing tools, including Track, which free rotates the entire scene, Move, which allows you to move objects, Rotate, which allows you to rotate objects, Scale, which allows you to resize objects, Select, which allows you to select entire objects or even individual vertices. The objects are measured in meters. There are so many editing tools in Virto Studio VR. Under Object Properties, you can change textures and add materials. You can lower or raise the quality of textures. You can change shaders. The Texture, Material, and Shader tools allow you to adjust opacity and color palettes. You can smooth or flatten the mesh. You can improve the poly count by adjusting the mesh. With the mesh tools, you can even adjust individual vertices and manipulate them. There's a nice undo button to undo the last action. I won't touch all of the editing tools that Virto Studio VR contains, but it certainly contains the core features of most computer 3D software that you might use. Two unique features that I liked about Virto Studio VR was the selection tool and material properties. Selecting multiple objects while using the manipulation gesture spawned a yellow highlight box. It looked different, but it felt good. Changing the color in material properties had a nice touch where moving your hand in the z-axis would decrease or increase the alpha value. The UI of the color palette going forward felt good. Virtual Studio VR imports FBX, OBJ, DAE directly as holograms into the application. You can export your final scenes to Cloud Drive. Virtual Studio VR is available for $50 on the Microsoft Store. Mirrorlize was developed by Magnaplus and Sally Slade. Mirrorlize makes it easy and fun to create real-life mirrors. The first thing that Mirrorlize does is scan the room. Afterwards, you can place a pin on the wall to choose where your mirror will be. A menu spawns with artwork and canvas controls. You can move the menu around. You can select from some sample artwork. You can flip the artwork horizontally and vertically. You can pan the artwork. Zoom in and zoom out. You can apply adjustments to the canvas. You can change the opacity of the canvas. You can move and rotate the canvas around. You can reset your mural if you want to erase the current one. Instead of sample artwork, you can reference and find any Instagram user's photos or photos by hashtag. You can type the user's username or hashtag with a keyboard. This way, you have a selection of photos that you can reference for creating your real-life mural. Two features that I especially liked about Mirrorlize was the smooth flipping of the image when you move your hand above or under the image and the helpful text instructions. Whenever you want to resize your image, 
If you move your hand above the image, it flips accordingly and has a very smooth transition. The help button used the color pinkish purple and white to create helpful non-distracting help text that I thought looked very clear. The pins sticking to the wall was also a nice touch. You can get Mirrorlize for free on the Microsoft App Store. MyLab was developed by Lucas Risotto. MyLab is an educational tool that lets you explore an interactive periodic table through holograms. When you open MyLab, a floating periodic table will appear in front of you. You can move the periodic table around. Whenever you select an element, you can see a simulation of the element's atom. The simulation of the element's atom appears on the left side above a platform. You can move these atoms around and spawn new element's atoms. You can see what type of element it is and its atomic number and atomic units. Every category or type of element is color labeled. You can use the filter tool on the right to see only that category of elements. Whenever you select one of these categories, you can read a description on that type of element. There's a Molecule Builder button, but it's still a placeholder. Molecule Builder isn't there yet. Whenever you move the periodic table around, the atoms and periodic table will always face you. Two features that I liked about my lab was the color coding and cute details. The color coding makes filtering elements by type very clear. The slight curve in the periodic table makes it stand out more and feel more real. Noble gases will show a small crown on top of the element. Radioactive elements will show a subtle, hazy gas surrounding the center of the atom. You can get my lab for free on the Microsoft App Store. Hall Terrain was developed by Dangling Concepts and Imran. Hall Terrain is a 3D terrain and map visualization tool. You can see and explore a 3D rendered terrain map of the planet Earth. When you open the app, you will have to sign into OneDrive. Hall Terrain provides a solo experience, or if you have another Hall Lens, you can share the experience through a peer-to-peer -peer connection. For a solo experience, you lay your Hall Terrain somewhere you can get a bird's eye view. At the bottom right corner, you can see a legend that has a vertical measurement stick with the number of meters of the current highest point of the section of the map that you're looking at and relative comparisons like for example to Mount Everest. On the side of the map, you can read the sea level and surface scale information. You can pan north, east, west, and south. You can scale the map bigger or smaller. There are four zoom levels available that allow you to zoom in or zoom out. When you select a search button, you can select five map styles, which include satellite, light, dark, elevation, and contrast. There's a list of six favorite cities that you can select and see immediately, or you can search for one manually. All of the commands can be voice activated by saying the name of the button, like saying zoom in or zoom out. Whenever you look at any section of the map, you can distinctly see the varying elevations. Two of the features of Hall Terrain that I really liked was how the map loaded smoothly and how good the elevation looked. The map loads by tile, and it transitions very smoothly. The elevation is easily recognizable, and the legend that shows the highest point of the current section of the map that you're looking at is helpful to gauge how high the land actually is. You can get Hall Terrain for free on the Microsoft App Store. You have four choices. Which app do you feel deserves Reality Mixer of 2017? Leave in the comments what would be your choice, Virtual Studio VR, Mirrorlize, MyLab, or Hall Terrain. When the verdict has been decided tomorrow, I'll pin a comment with the winner on this YouTube video. Thanks for watching. We'll see what comes out next year for the Hall Lens.